Materials make up everything that we come in contact with on a daily basis, from the clothes we wear to giant infrastructure. It would be impossible for us to survive in today's world without materials. Hi, I'm Dr. Stella Pedrosini and I'm a material scientist. A material scientist is someone who studies all the materials that are available in the world around us and we study the way to produce them and look at their properties and then we try to change their properties for specific applications. I always knew I had a passion for science. I ended up applying at university to go and do material science. It combines physics, chemistry and engineering, so it sounded perfect. I then went on to do a PhD at the same university because that's a requirement to become a lecturer and I knew I had a passion for research and now I'm a lecturer. Material science is the study of stuff. Literally everything around us is materials and uh, it goes from concrete to metals to polymers and they each have a use in a specific application. Smart materials are materials that have more unusual properties. That can involve self-healing after they've been cut, that can involve changing color uh, under specific conditions, or for example, some materials are called shape memory alloys, and these, if you deform them, they will always want to go back to their original shape. And now my team are going to be running through some experiments and showing you the lab. Hi, my name is Jessica and today in this lab I'll be showing you how shape memory alloys work. Um, so shape memory alloys are a type of um, smart materials because they can respond to different things. Um, so in shape memory alloys they respond to temperature. Uh, there are also other kinds of smart materials that respond to things like pressure or even electric current. So shape memory alloys are a really exciting field of material science. In jet engines, it is used um, to design better nozzles in the back of the engine where air comes out of, and we can um, change the shape so that it's more efficient. And also um, on plane wings, where um, they're trying to design shape-shifting wings, which is really exciting. So what we're seeing here is me first boiling the water. I've already deformed the spring into a straight wire. And because it's a shape memory alloy, whenever it's exposed to hot water, it will immediately recoil back into the spring. So smart materials are um, really interesting for the future of material science because um, there are a lot of potential benefits that it can have. For example, in jet engines, it can improve efficiency, which means we will use less fuel, and it can improve the recyclability and therefore sustainability of these materials. Materials are the building blocks that make up the world as we know it. As scientists, we're constantly striving to develop new materials with the ultimate aim to improve the standards of living. 